So no fine or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for this milk. Do you mind if I use all of it? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you. It's gonna be the first time I've had milk in my oats. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how long it take cold for, but. Yeah. Which one do you want for? But a shout out to the two blokes, the road workers. They um, stopped for a bit of smoke at the rest stop back there that I slept at, and they um, stocked me up on cold water, which uh, which probably won't stay cold for that much longer. But I drank like two bottles of cold water already, so um, I've got to go to the toilet already. So if you guys saw as well, um, I, they were a Belgian couple. They were driving their four-wheel drive from Perth. They've been all the way around pretty much. Yeah, they're going to make their way to Sydney for Christmas, but they also gave me some soy milk for my uh, oats this morning, so... I haven't had soy milk in quite a while, only because like you have to bloody cart the carton. Like on the bike, it takes up quite a bit of volume, so just normally have water just to save for space. But um, I was treated this morning with some soy, some soy milk in my uh, oats, which was bloody stunning. So yeah, shout out to those guys too. And also one more thank you and shout out to. Um, old mate who he let me charge up my phone in his van and all of that so I can keep me going I kind of ran out of battery and there wasn't really anywhere to really charge that much so he helped me out there and let me charge my my phone in his van which was bloody awesome too but yeah guys that's about it a lot of generosity from strangers that I thought is worth including but we're on our way to Babinda once again yeah, so um, check back with you guys when we get there. One of the road worker blokes, he was talking to me about like all the negative stuff that kind of happens up this way. Like he wasn't a negative Nancy or like an uh, energy vampire or anything like that, but he's, he has both sons that work in the police force. One of them is like a forensics police officer or whatever. And he was talking about how someone was just murdered along the beach up here not too long ago, which is um, quite uh, sad, obviously, and yeah, not very good, but not good at all. Uh, and also, he's talking about how there was like 20 break-ins or something like that, just like yesterday or something. Just um, yeah, quite notorious for. Uh, for crime and all that stuff but I guess he just has like the one side of the story because both his sons are in the police that's kind of like their job and that's what their you know work is dedicated to doing is to dealing with all that stuff so I'm not gonna try and let that indicate my perspective of cans and all of that but um, I guess I just got to be a bit weary and a bit careful with leaving my stuff laying around and all of that but I think it should be fine. But anyway, it's getting bloody scenic through here. Past Townsville and all that, it's just getting more lush and more green. So many mountains and just so much green. It's beautiful. So we made it here to Babinda. Did a bit of a grocery shopping. Got some stuff. Having a bit of a lunch here. To be honest, I'm thinking of just camping here tonight. Um, there's a campground across the road here. I'm just at a public park. Um, the next park, Gordon Vale, is closed for maintenance until like mid next year. So, <clears throat> so that's off off boundaries. I can't stay there. So probably tomorrow I'll just um, get up and get into Cairns. Just check out Cairns once we get in there. It's about 60 k's from where we are right now. So the journey's pretty much over there. So we made it to camp. This is the campground, pretty much. 
Um, I don't know, I might set up here. It's way too early though to be thinking about setting up a tent. This is like the earliest I've ever had to set up a tent. It's like 12 o'clock. Normally riding this time, but anyway. Um, there is a creek or a river out the back here. There's probably crocodiles in there. And I'm camping just beside it, but I don't think it should be a worry. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it looks good to jump in, but there'll be definitely some crocs in there. Yeah. Have you been at this one for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. been here for a while. Rangers don't give. Yeah. Give up. Yeah, yeah. So, it's yeah. been here for three weeks. Now. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good ass, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. We're from Victoria. Oh, yeah, same. Around, yeah, so. sweet. Yeah, Whereabouts in Vic? Uh, Gippsland re region. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Near Churchill there. Oh, yeah, Churchill, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Right. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm in Gippsland too. I'm in uh, Bunyip. Do you know where Bunyip is? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I so yeah. I've been riding my bike from there. So. Yeah? Yeah. Where are you uh, a pasty bike or something like that? No, I'm a pushy. Push bike. Push bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. You're crazy. It is too bloody hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Good thing. Are you good. riding around? Yeah, I'm riding from Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm going up to Cairns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're not very far away. Now. Yeah, pretty close, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, really close. Yeah. yeah, almost finished that. So. Yeah. yeah. Just for the adventure, I guess. For the adventure. Yeah. But riding on the bike. Yeah. So I was talking to some of the uh, local Aborigines here um, and they suggested that I go to the information centre and just get some information about the boulders that are around the area. They were talking to me about the traditional like the I guess the dream time story about um, a lady who went into the river and she drowned and then whatever man goes in the river drowns or something like that so it's a lady's spot so I'm allowed to go in the water but I'm going in the water a bit further upstream but there's these two boulders there so it'll be interesting to check that out and I'm just gonna go the information center is just over the railway tracks on this highway here that blue building right there I'm just gonna pop in and get some information just read up about it and uh, see where else I can potentially go around this area for tomorrow. So yeah, they're quite friendly um, locals back there. Very helpful too. It's gonna come down. All right, see ya. Okay. Thank you. Lightning, thunder, oh it's coming down really bad right now. I'm just going to get back to camp before it gets too bad. It's a nice cool change, this wind is beautiful. So cool. Guys, you can see it over by those mountains, it's already bucketed down right just over there. We're going to cop it. I did bump into that guy there on the ute. He he said he's camping along here too, and he said um I can camp under his tarp tonight, which is awesome. Oh, cool change. This is great. Okay, interesting. Yeah. But I'm from at the table end. Yeah. So I can tell you fruits about up there that you can eat a lot of. Well, what are the most common fruits up that way? Um, you can plant me with a pistol. No, no. It goes wild, it's a little black fruit. Yeah. You're not gonna use it, you got one already? Yeah. So this is the tent set up. Got a mattress. So good. How you going buddy? Hello. You're a big boy, aren't you? Hmm? You reckon it's gonna rain, eh? <laughs> It's all happening tonight. Yeah, it's all happening tonight. I don't know what I've been missing out on in this camp spot. It seems like it's all happening here. 
Um, so probably I might stay here for a few more days, probably all the way until I have to head back to Cairns, really. Um, the bloke here that I met that's that I'm camping with tonight, he said he'll drive me to Cairns, which would be super awesome. It's getting very rowdy over there. They've had a bit to drink, the Aborigines, and they're sort of going off a bit at each other. It's not good. That's not good, they've taken off in the car, I think they drink driving. here where I, it was a hot day and it was raining that night and I just left the tent door open and I just laid oh, there. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Well, I've got a, I've got a night dive myself. Oh, yes. yep. 30 yep. 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 It's too hot. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful life. Yeah, it's stunning. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And uh, if you have a look in granite, it's got uh, green colours, black colours, uh, all sorts of colours, and they're actually gemstones. Oh, right. There's black tourmaline, the green is olivine. Sometimes you get um, sapphire in it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's an earthquake zone with the mountains here, earthquake from an earthquake. Yeah. Uh, so you have to know where the epicenter of the earthquake is, yeah. is where the gemstones are. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Uh, like Kalgoorlie, the Golden Mile, mm. is the epicenter, that's why there's so much gold there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fascinating. Stress mm. and heat and thermal hot water. Mm. Uh, um, if I'm driving along and I see a rocky creek, I don't care where I am, I'll always pull over and have a look. Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. What's this one called again? Pink Rhodonite. That's Pink uh, Rhodonite, yeah. That's the polished one up there. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. so, uh, that's a bit of weight. Yeah. It's iron, that's why, manganese iron. Mm. <clears throat> but one stone that size, say so if you make a necklace as, big, as long as my bit of thumb, mm -hmm. how many would you get out of that? Fuck me dead, one, oh. two, three, four, five. Ten to fifteen? Six. Maybe ten? So you probably, for that little slab, mm. you'd make about three hundred bucks. Far out. That's <laughs> good, isn't it? Yeah. So you've been doing alright with this? Oh yeah. Yeah? I wouldn't have it if I didn't. This is opal. Look at that. Wow. It's just glimmering. Beautiful colours. Matrix open. Yeah, if you look in, in the centre, it's uh, it's got the red on the outside, but it's all got also got the colour through the middle as well. So yeah. have a look in the sun. Yeah. So I can have this one. Yeah, I might give you a better one. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's gonna give me a better one probably. So that's pretty cool that uh, old man over there 
gave me a matrix gemstone it's a matrix opal um, has some quite stunning colors and stuff I want to see if I can get it out and show so you kind of got to be out in the Sun to see beautiful colors and things but um yeah they have to boil it to get the uh, colors out of it otherwise it's just a blank black stone Today is my last day here in Cairns. I'm flying out this Sunday, which is tomorrow morning at 6.10. So today being Saturday is my last day. I have some things planned that I want to kind of do. Do a bit of gift shopping, maybe get a haircut, and uh, yeah, just get ready to, to leave Cairns. So that's the plan. I'm riding back into town at the moment. been enjoying Cairns. I like the vibes here. Just behind me here is the lagoon. It's pretty nice. It's like a man-made pool. And yeah, everybody's here at about six when it opens and you swim around in there. It's a nice, nice spot. Guys, we're amongst all the stalls here. I'm gonna do a bit of a shop and uh, get some gifts. There's um quite a few stalls, but most of them are jewelry and stuff, which is pretty good for the girls anyway. Alright guys, so we got a bike box, but now I just have to figure out how to transport myself for the next 24 hours or so with this. <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge. So guys, we ended up making it back to um, Trent's house and stayed there last night. I didn't really film much at all in, in town a bit and um, just hang out for a bit, had a good chat and all of that. It's really cool to catch up. So I haven't really talked to him like ever since I was really young. I don't even know if I really met him at all, to be honest. Like, I don't have any, I don't remember really, but yeah. It was really cool um, to chat. It's a really awesome bloke and um, yeah, he, he caught a taxi back to his place and stayed there last night and then yeah, packed the bike up, so a lot has happened. It's just been fast paced and everything like that, but yeah, just made it to the airport right now. We're at the airport um, at the moment, and um, yeah, already checked in the bike and all of that stuff. And I'm about to head to the gate and um, board the plane very soon. We're gonna, it's about 5.30, plane's at 6.20, somewhere around there, so yeah, we're almost on the plane back to Melbourne, so this adventure has finally come to an end. You guys did enjoy this whole adventure. Make sure to um, like the video and give us a thumbs up and you know do all that stuff, comments below and hit the subscribe button and all that. But yeah, it's been uh, quite the adventure and I hope to return back here maybe sometime to finish it off. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we'll just see what happens there. Eh? Um, yeah, thanks guys for watching and um, I'll see you guys in the future. Don't know when, but yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, thanks for following the journey. It's been a bloody blast. See you soon.